One thing that G.K. Chesterton said was altering was the fact that people don't really want to fight for the family anymore. And so I'm going to read to you this quote from Illustrated London News on January 1st, 1921. The sword considered as a symbol would be a symbol of precisely those rights of the citizen, which are now most necessary and most neglected. It would stand for the idea that he has, in the last resort, the right to defend his family individually as to defend his country collectively. Also, in New Age, G.K. Chesterton wrote on April 15, 1909, If you want the common man to fight, you must be offering him the thing for which he fights best, his own honor and his own home. Hi there! I hope you've enjoyed watching this video so far and you've learned a lot. If you don't mind taking this moment right now to click like and subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can provide more resources like this one to more people over the course of this year as I'm writing my book. Thank you. So I've been to a couple places on our vacation or trip um, that detailed some battles and right now we're in Canada. And we're in Quebec City, where some of the pivotal battles of the French and Indian War took place. The British fighting the French and the Indians. And so what I would say is a common theme that I've been exposed to today is fighting and battles. But G.K. Chesterton talks about a different kind of fighting, a different kind of battle. And that's the battle for a person's own home and his own honor. And so that's something to consider. I think that a lot of the modern view likes to talk about um, maybe more of a collective sense of fighting for the country or fighting for um, a cause, like a community cause. And while those aren't necessarily bad things in and of themselves, let's also think about what's important as far as the family is concerned. And I think that it's interesting to see how how quick he was to defend the family. He didn't have any children of his own, and that wasn't by choice, but he had a strong devotion to just the, um, the fight for the traditional and the fight Happy for uh, the things that are not of the institution. Uh, the small businesses, the families that are working hard to stick together uh, during the day and not necessarily the state being in charge of the families coming and going, education and all of that. And he speaks a lot about the state. He speaks a lot about corporations and how they had taken some time away from the family as well. And so all of these things are very interesting to note, and I'm not saying corporations are horrible, but he does have some things to say that I've thought about. And I'm thinking, well, it might be a good thing to consider about the time that we spend. Um, and it's not always up to us. It's not always in our control. So that's his point. Um, the state and the corporations do take some control away and time away from the traditional family. So something to consider.